preparing to light this thing in my shop, it's because it hasn't rained here in like five or six weeks now. And the grass is all brown and nasty and I just moved to this part of the state and I do really like it so far. And therefore I would generally prefer to not set it on fire if that's something I could avoid. So we'll just sprinkle, sprinkle some of this stuff on here. And we'll use our doohickey to light our thing the jigger. Huh, that was fast. And just like that, we're off and running. All right, so I got our pink hair dryer of awesomeness hooked up. As you can see, I made a little last minute design change, which was to angle this piece of pipe down a little bit so that it would clear this, uh, this piece of channel and we can hang our hair dryer out to the side. Now I couldn't find my duct tape, so I used some masking tape. And um, yeah, so now that this thing is just starting to smolder a little bit, I hope I'm not doing this too early. Let's find the low, which way is low? There's low. I'm seeing more light come out of this thing just, uh, just pretty much instantly. Now we're really seeing some signs of life, YouTube. Let's see what happens when we crank this up. So I guess this about winds down the video. Uh, we're to the point now where I should either add a piece of material to this to heat up or add some more charcoal to it, or preferably both. But I really just wanted to get this fired up and have kind of a test burn. Uh, another added benefit of this is we're probably smoking out some of the grease and whatnot that is, I'm sure, down inside that, uh, that break up itself. So overall, I gotta tell you guys, I'm completely and totally thrilled with how this Now, what did I fill? What did I spend to uh, put mine together? Well, I splurged and bought a new hair dryer. That cost me about $14.99. If I was really trying to do this on a budget, or actually if I'd even just thought about it, you know, I should have gotten one from like a, like a yard sale or a Goodwill type store or someplace like that. Uh, so yeah, I got that and I got a couple pieces of um, of pipe down there as well. I'm going to say between those two things, probably about 25 bucks or so. That's actually a little on the high side because that's like eight bucks worth of friggin' pipe. And the actual material that this is made out of, well, that piece of eighth inch sheet metal, I can just feel the heat pouring off of this still. This piece of sheet metal on top is left over, I think, from the barbecue trailer build. So that's actually made me money. And the rest of the stuff is out of that pile of material I got from the, uh, the metal building company. And I'm going to say, I'm not even going to say 10 bucks for all this stuff. I'm going to say like probably 5 bucks. I was looking at that piece of material. We had a couple random pieces of channel left over to lean on that. And, um, and I took it back out there. I honestly couldn't even tell that this material here was missing. Nobody in my area get any ideas, but we really didn't even put a dent in that uh, that stack of material out there. I know it doesn't look like that much because it's all you know neat and organized in a row, but I assure you guys that is a pretty substantial quantity of uh, material we have. So we got that, and uh, so yeah, where I was going with this is for everything. I'm gonna say probably about thirty bucks to build this. And like I said, I could have done it cheaper. I could have gotten a uh, Goodwill hair dryer or a tag sale hair dryer. So the brake drums, those things are really plentiful. Back when I was in high school, I made, at the time, for me, a lot of money uh, scrapping material. And there were a couple mechanic shops in town I would go to. And they would literally just give me like 10 or 20 individual brake drums if I'd haul them off for them. So to put it lightly, they're not a valuable commodity. I'd say if you go to uh, a couple mechanic shops and, and talk to the people that work there, you could probably just get them to give you one. You might have better luck with that at a mom and, top, mom and pop type place as opposed to going to like a, uh, you know, one of those big commercial auto repair places, but who knows, you know, you might get lucky. So we got that and overall, 
I am really thrilled with how this has uh, turned out. I'm sure it's going to be in a lot of videos to come. Really looking forward to trying out some blacksmithing projects at some point. And thanks for watching, everybody. Have a nice night. What is that? What is that?